Matthew Alexander. Matthew? Yeah. What's up, Matthew? Uh, we are here with Rodney in LA. Where are you from? I'm, uh, I'm from I'm native. You're native Los Angeles, California? Yeah, yeah. I grew up in San Gabriel Valley. San Gabriel Valley? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, how was your childhood growing up? Um, well, it was, it, was, it was chill, I guess. Um, I was a, my parents broke up when I was seven. And, uh, dad was kind of non-existent. Mom was around, struggling. Uh, it's actually a crazy story in the long run. Like when I, when I, like to get to here now, like the shit that went on back then that I didn't know about. Like wow. Anyways, um, yeah, I just I got into skateboarding and tagging and shit, and I was a Boy Scout. <laughs> uh, walking home from fucking school on my own. Walking home from school. Yeah, yeah. Cause I used to go to a, a, like a daycare prior to that, right? So we 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 get carted off to this other place after school and. Other people would watch us and shit, and then, uh, <laughs> excuse my language, uh, then my mom would pick us up, and yeah, I, have a, I have a younger brother who's a real pain in my ass, but, uh, who's your brother? Do you have any siblings? Yeah, his name's Tom. How's Tom doing? I, so I cursed the day that kid friggin' was born. You don't know how he is? Uh, yeah. He's stealing my identity right now. He's stealing your identity? Yeah, and I'm fucking... I, I want to kill the kid. Yeah. Man. Uh, at this point, I don't even know who's what or where's... You know, like... My whole fucking life went upside down with, with my little brother, like I was talking about. My family turned on me. My friends turned on me. Uh, they pretty much set me up to take a crazy fall. Like, I had my own clothing brand for a while. I, you know, I was doing all this stuff. My dad was paying people, like, going to, to the trade shows behind my back and paying buyers not to buy the clothing. And then, uh, he went, he's, over the years, he'd just been contacting all my friends and, like, getting him to, telling him that I have all this money. Like, I, unbeknownst to me, nobody ever told me I inherited shit. But I inherited a heck of, like, a lot a lot, a lot, a lot. And anyways, it's, it's so he hid that from me, and uh, he got all my friends in on it. And that, you know, when it all culminated, everybody was supposed to stop talking to me. And when I got married, like everybody started dropping off, like the fly, you know, like what? what? And, I, and I noticed it. I'm like, what's going on, dude? Is it that I got married? You know, and, and maybe it was. I don't know. But that turned out to be part of it. That was all, everything was, my whole life was a setup, bro. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, it was empowering. It gave me a lot of um, self-esteem. Um, I was happy, I was free. My mom was trusting me enough to actually, you know, be on my own and do do stuff, like, instead of just being, uh, you know, going from school to school to school, like, cause the daycare was like another type of school. And, it was a preschool that had the daycare after. So I, I would be there with like a bunch of you know little kids and shit. And then there's some kids my age, but not very many. It sucked. <laughs> I went to uh, oh, I, I went to Shuey Elementary originally, which is in Roseville. And then I went to Muscatel uh, Junior High. And then uh, to Rosemead after that, which I got expelled from. <laughs> Rosemead High School? Yeah. How was high school? Um, it was cool. It was, it was, it was, I, I got in a lot of trouble. It was fun. I went to jail and shit. Jail and shit? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So you went to Juvie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Which Juvie did you land in? I think all of them. Uh, all of them? <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay. Yeah, I got in a lot of trouble. Like, I lived really close to the school that I, that I went to. So I, I got into selling dope and shit, right? And, and, uh, and tagging and this, that, and the other. So, Let's actually talk about that. People are actually interested. You know, yeah, people are actually yeah, yeah. interested. When, you, when was the first time you started getting into drugs? Dope dealing, not Well, uh, I got into it because I, I, my, I was, my how mom, right now? No, how old were you when you started? Oh, like 14. You started, oh yeah, 14. Um, but like, my, my, as a young kid, I, I didn't get much, you know what I mean? Like, I had to figure out ways to get my own money. 
Like I, I came up with you know like these little scams and shit to like to get money that 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 before prior to it, right? So I, I needed a new skateboard, I needed new clothes, and my mom could only afford like twenty bucks a week for me. So I figured out out that somehow I, I sold roses by the freeway. I did whatever, you know. I went and door to door doing like random stuff that, that the school wasn't doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but told them it was. Um, but then, uh, yeah, I started stealing shit and stuff, and I didn't. I, I, I wasn't. I got caught. I got caught. Did you quit when you started stealing? Oh, I hated it. I fucking hate it. It's that. It, that's the, it's the worst thing, dude. You think if you were rich and money wasn't a problem, you wouldn't be hesitant after the things you went through? Yeah. Definitely. So you think if you had money and there was no such thing as uh, middle class, uh, poor class, or high class, you think if everyone was on the same level and was treated equally, you think uh, you would have had a, a better life? You could say. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, no, the girl that I know. Oh, we can get late with this video. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I just got into smoking pot and shit around the, on the on the main like little spot of my, of my like where we hung out and shit, skating. And my boy rolls up on me and he's like, "Yo, yo, blah blah, I got some fucking cool shit, man. I, I need some places to put it. You know, I'm like, bro, I got it sewed up, dude. I know everybody." And he was like, "All right, cool, cool." So he fucking laced me up. I was working for him for a bit. Um, I got a little bit out of control. It was uh, like, first I was selling uh, meth and, and LSD, and uh, then then we got tacked onto that. And um, yeah, it was like a little pharmacy and shit. It was cool. It got too much though, bro. Like as a young kid and not knowing, like how to how to to to, to you know to you know how to move. You know what I mean? Like there's a way to be. And there's a way not to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you could go out and be a, you know, a, you know, a party animal your whole life and have a fucking nice job and blah 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 blah. As long as you keep yourself under control, you know what I'm saying? Like, but a lot of people can't do that because they're not educated in in such ways. You know what I mean? Like, and, and the way our our our, our uh, schools and shit teach people about about drugs and shit is just totally fucked up. Yeah, like, they're, they're teaching people about heroin and they're showing it a, a party and shit. They should, when they should be teaching people about it like it's a pharmaceutical, you know what I mean? They teach us about pharmaceuticals and like, oh, that's, you gotta watch out, that's gonna, that could kill you, you know what I mean? They do the same, it, it could kill you, but it's at a party. So, you know, they, they, it, it, it's crazy. And then people fucking, they look at drug addicts like, you know, they start downing them and making them feel guilty and shit. And then the next thing you know, That's that person... Yeah, yeah, exactly. They give up on themselves because they friggin' they feel like a piece of shit. So they just delve farther and farther and farther. If society would just open up and fucking, you know, love each other and, and you know, treat each other like we're supposed to be. Like, nobody's better than anybody else. I don't give a fuck. I can have the most money in the world and still be, you know, right here with you, you know? I mean, I'm not, not, not saying, no, you know? I see what you're saying. No, I see what you're saying. I see exactly what you're saying. Um, you've got all the money in the world and you'll still uh, be humble. Yeah, exactly, like exactly. Uh, it's about six years ago, right? And uh, I'm married at the time. And uh, we're out camping and shit. And I, uh, me and my, my, my ex, are, we're getting down, right? We're, I'm fucking the shit out of her. In, in, <laughs> In, this, in our tent, and I just, all of a sudden I hear people, dude, like, talking about what we're doing, bro, like, I'm like, what the fuck, I'm like, babe, you hear that, I stop, I'm like, do you hear that, they're like, 10 feet away or something, I'm like, talking about how I'm fucking you, and she's like, baby, you're, you're tripping, just knock it off, I'm like, what, you don't, I'm like, you don't hear that, no, baby, you're tripping, alright, okay, whatever you say, Get back, she's like, get back to the, you know, you're a fucking, I, I, come on. All right, okay, so I get back in there. And same shit happens again, dude. And it's like, I know who it is. It's my dad. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, this is crazy. 
and she's telling me, nah, you're tripping, you're tripping. All right, cool. So at that point, it knocked me out of the game, you know, I just fucking pshht. And I didn't hear any voices again for a little bit, but I came back again. And now, now I'm starting to fucking acknowledge them and shit. And I'm talking to them. And I'm playing their games too. Like I'm playing, trying to play their mind games and shit. Like I realize what it is. I'm like, oh, it's telepathy, dude. Like this shit's crazy right here. Like, like this is stuff you don't hear about, right? Like, uh, and they're trying to put some fucking psychological fucking war on my, on my head, you know? Fuck my head up. So I'm like, alright, they wanna fuck my head up? I'm gonna fuck their heads up, dude. You know? So I start playing their game. And I almost die, fucking honestly. <laughs> How did you almost die? Oh, uh, they freaked me out one night and I went running through backyards. And I... You went through backyards? Yeah. You guys are fucking in the tent, right? Oh, yeah, this, this is okay, yeah, yeah, we're fucking in the tent. Yeah. They hear you. Yeah, the, okay, well, the thing with telepathy, it, you know, the all-seeing eye thing and everything, right? If you, you have your little, like, six degrees of separation and shit, right? Well, through that, that's, you can pretty much hone in on people and shit it, it, in, your, in your group. If you see it, like me, if I know your face or your name, I could find you and talk to you and look at you anywhere you are. And a lot of people can't do that, but I, like... It's, it's crazy, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's really fucking crazy lately, though. Like, I don't know if you, if you have any of these experiences, like, you hear, you hear, you hear, right? I mean, full-on conversation, bro, like, full-on, like, conversation, like, it's crazy, like, Illuminati type crazy, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to say it's, like, Illuminati, like, because they're doing something to me, because they're not, it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's conspiracy type, like, crazy. and he's like, I need you to quit work, and uh, I need, the reason I need you to do that is, is I need your full attention um, to help me with some real estate, and I'm like, what? Some real estate? You don't do real estate. What the fuck? He's like, yeah, I've been finding some real estate lately with your name on it, and I'm like, what? My name on it? He's like, yeah, I claimed like six of them already, and I'm like, what? How the fuck did you claim my shit? Like, if it's my name on it, how the what? I started blowing up on him. And he tells me, you know, he starts trying to work on me to quit again. I'm like, no, 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 no. I gotta pay my bills, bro. Like, fuck that shit, dude. And I, I, I was growing weed just prior to this, and I sold my garden, and and I sold it with a percentage that would pay my my, my bills and everything. Like, so I was, I was skating, I was cool, you know? And my dad got a hold of that guy and and got him to back out on our deal. And, and he started finessing you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and then then my dad at the same time he was trying to get me to quit. So I was selling weed at the time. He got me to quit with selling finally after telling me the uh, you know all this bullshit. And he's like, oh by the way, your aunt, she you know she works for the FBI, right? And I'm like, what? I didn't know that. She's like, oh yeah. And your name came across her de her desk again. I'm like, oh my god! I I had a partner like prior to this that I sold lots of like like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of weed with, and he got indicted about five years earlier. So I just flipped out, dude. I dropped everything. I was like, all right, I quit. I handed my phone to people, um, all that, right? And he was like, don't worry, I'll, I'll pay your bills. I was like, all right, cool. And this is my dad, you know, like so I figured, okay. I, I'm cool, he'll pay my bills, like, and this motherfucker, Stop paying your he bills. didn't pay my bills, I lost my phone, I lost my fucking everything, and uh, I ended up at my, my, and during all this, like, I had cameras up at my house and shit, right, yeah. and at night, the infrared would pop on, bing, right, and in my driveway, there's this little man, about, you know, they yay tall, in a black night, Fucking, I uh, dude, trippy. Like no, no, a fucking knight. So, yeah, like a little dude though, like this big with a giant cannon. And like I had, I had, to, I have a, in, well, I don't know, if I don't I, I know where it's at now, but it was, I had recordings of it, like for, shoot, I would like go out there and look, he's not there, like what? It's like catching the metaphysical, you know what I mean? Like I don't know what the fuck it was or what. Throughout all this, right? They're telling me I'm the savior, and I'm, the, I'm, I'm thinking they're full of shit, right? I'm like, what the fuck? And then I start seeing, I, I start getting, like, 
like I, I started getting crazy like bit, like like out over Pasadena I fucking see this golden orb like 200 yards above the fucking the, the tree line and it starts talking to me and it tells me that I'm this this person again and I'm like what the fuck dude like twisting my head up dude like whoa bro I'm the savior like how the fuck is that I'm just this fucking stoner bro like <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. rave it, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. and uh, yeah. So, and then Memorial Day comes up, and I look, I'm looking up in the sky, and there's just a belt, of, like a machine gun belt of spirits. Like you can see the fucking the bodies and the faces and the everything, and they start talking to me, and I'm like, whoa, 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 fucking man, dude, this is not cool. And. Uh, yeah, it was freaking me out, dude. I didn't know. I couldn't understand it. I, like, I just didn't get it. Like, I'm like, how the hell am I this person? And you know, like, normally people like that are 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 brought up into that type of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and 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 groomed. You know, like, I had nothing. And then like, I, my my family has a crazy background. Like, goes all the way back to Braveheart. You know, what I mean, the movie Braveheart and shit. Like, uh, my grandfather was a really crazy person in history. Um, he, he, he worked with Capone and shit, and, and yeah, and they, 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 they bought that. They got some money with dude, with all those guys. Anyways, um, that was my mom's dad. My dad's dad, I'm not sure exactly what he did before the wars, but he he, he went and fought in the wars, and so did my grandfather there, uh, my other grandfather. Um, my uh, my mom's side of the family is Scottish, and uh, like a couple different like mixes. It's like Scottish, Russian, uh, something else, and then my dad's side is Italian, German, and something else. <laughs> And uh, I knew my, my, my aunt had married into the royal family, um, I don't know, a long time ago, like in the 30s or some shit. But it turns out, like I did a report on, on my, 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 my Scottish uh, uh, family and uh, bloodline. And she's like, oh, what I ate. Anyways, <laughs> it keeps fucking, uh, so anyways, I, I find this kilt that I got for the report, and I'm looking at it, and it, and I, and I, it has a little little pamphlet on the history, and it's telling me all the other stuff about the Bra Braveheart and all this crap, and how we were the, you know, we, we started out in, as, as, I forgot what, but they ended up as Duke of Montrose, which is like the capital or something like that, or, I, or, I don't know, it, it might be as, I'm not too too uh, up on on the ge geography or yeah the layout of, of, of Europe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, Montrose is we were we were dukes of, and now now on top of that uh, all this craziness that's happening, I'm getting contacted by the royal family, mm. and they're telling me. How long ago was this? This is all happening like down now, bro. Oh, like this is all right yeah we're up to date right here. Oh, damn, we're up to date. And. Uh, and the whole time I'm just trying to do my art, like get, get back to, you know, like I was doing my clothing line, I ran out of money, and I, I, I'm like, I'm gonna rebrand myself as an artist, and that way when I get money to do my clothing again, I'll have, I'll be a more rounded person, you know, well-rounded artist. So I'm trying to, to balance that, and then I'm getting all this craziness about that, the, and I'm, I'm supposed to be the monarch. And, all, and the, like the money that I've inherited, like, fucking in, insane like uh, I in California for instance is I own it, it, well okay California is not uh, like when you buy property here you buy you don't really buy the property property you buy the house not the property mm. the property is owned privately and leased to the government I inherited that and I, all the way up to Sacramento, pretty much down to San, uh, San not San Luis, um, where the, the birds go, the fucking <laughs> well, San Marino. No, 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 it, it's right before San Diego. San Diego. Oh. It's right before San Diego. Uh, I, damn, I'm real bad with names, anyways. 
Um, so yeah, and I, I'm having to deal with that. And my dad's trying to steal all this shit from me too, and he's he's got me down here stuck, and I don't know where anybody is. They're playing these stupid mind games on me, like, oh yeah, find us, find us, find us. And I found them a couple times, but they fucking don't even open the door. They won't come out, and they're like, they're being pieces of shit. And uh, I need to get a lawyer, really. And like for the last couple of years, I, I knew that it was gonna probably end up like this. And I was like, I'm just gonna chill out, and I'm gonna let them dig themselves a friggin' deep ass hole that they'll never get out of. I'm here on the street for six and a half years. And what sucks is it's not even my fault. <laughs> That's the really bad part about it. My dad set me up so bad, but I've used it as a kind of a hiding place um, to let them fucking bury themselves because they're literally, they stole my identity and they're trying to steal all this property and, and money and blah, 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 blah. And the government's finally, you know, they, they, they're, They've taken notice of it, and they're 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 going they're about to go down on their own. Like I didn't have to even put my friggin' do do anything. I just let them fuck themselves up. I even kind of let them into it a couple times. <laughs> fuck. Um, being that I don't have any money and uh, don't have a phone or any communication with anybody. Um, my day to day really lately other than just kind of chilling so bro let's actually speak on that where do you sleep where do you find a place to sleep how do you i don't you don't i don't sleep you don't sleep sometimes i just fall out somewhere sometimes so i get on the trains and stuff and i'll pass out all day sometimes and then uh i'll be up for four or five days three days whatever it is and once i just get too tired i fall out Normally when I fall out, I lose everything I have. <laughs> I've lost, dude, like, I, I, I don't have a sketchbook right now because every time I get one, I think I'm either over at MacArthur Park wandering around or I'm in the financial district most of the time. Financial district? That's where we're at right now, like uh, Figueroa mostly. Fig between, you know, yeah, up and down Fig, on Flower, um... I don't pass Grand really too much. Sometimes I go down to, to, to Skid Row area, Los Angeles and stuff. Yeah. But I, I'm not down there very long. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure in talking to you. Yeah. You told us a lot. You told us your story. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, no, thank you. Uh, you're actually the reason why uh, I'm doing this. You're actually helping. Uh, if I ever see you again, which I hope, I think I want to help. I want to help and house uh, homeless. I do not like people being on yeah, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks, bro. So that's why I do this. Um, and yeah, man. Yeah. Please forgive me for I am a sinner. <laughs> yes. And Everyone has made mistakes, and I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's, um, it's real tough. Just know, me, like, if you feel sorrow, um, you're a good human, and you're a real human, and you're gonna. I try. Make it. You're gonna make it. We're, humanity, we're is not replaceable. Like we, we, when it goes away, it's gone. So cherish it. Oh yeah. Don't, don't just fucking throw it away. And you're with Rodney and LA YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we're out. Peace. Please. All right, Matthew. So what is this? It's a first sketch of uh, this painting or drawing or whatever it is. Um. Uh, normally, I don't don't work like this. Like the, I, I started noticing like some like shapes and stuff on the on the on the, the like like it was a wet piece of wood, and I started noticing like the the, the way it was, it was, it was, it was it just inspired me. Like there's like you know there's shapes, so I started trying to sketch in and put some sh shading here and there, da -da 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 -da, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> Hell yeah, Matthew. That's what's up, man. Thank you for showing me. Yeah, that's, it has that's to do with somebody lying and backstabbing everybody. And they strung him up. Like Christ. And everybody's sitting there relaxing, partying. And he's like, I, 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 you know, I can't even party. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I got this little lie. <laughs> Damn.
Thank you, Matthew. Thank you so much for showing us.